Closing deals is quite obviously what helps sales thrive, but there's so much more that goes on behind the scenes of each sale that contributes toward a better customer experience during that cycle. In this clip, we'll take a look at how you can tap into cross-functional motions in Slack by logging product feedback using specified channels and automation, along with how you can make account handoffs a smoother transition. We'll start with how we can log product feedback. The channel you see here is dedicated to receiving product feedback logged by AEs and CSMs alike. You can see we've already collected a handful of responses already. If I check out the channel canvas, I see an FAQs linked at the top, as well as the process I need to follow to submit feedback. So I can see here, after reading through this, that I need to use a workflow to input the information that I need and submit it for my product teams to review. So I'm going to go ahead and kick this off by clicking Start Workflow. From there, you can see that a form has popped out prompting me to enter in some information. So I'm going to quickly fill this out. And insert all of my answers into this form so that my product team has all of the details they need. All right, I'm done. So I'm gonna submit my feedback. What you'll notice is that my product feedback is then posted immediately back into the channel. So this helps with the overall transparency. And if I am looking to see if a product request has already been made, I can easily search for that because all of the content is posted right back into the channel. Now on the flip side of this, our product team has all feedback collected in this channel funneling into a list. If I look back at this canvas, I can see they actually have it logged here. So my feature request that I just made is going to be added into this most recent line item. But I can also see all historical feature summaries, product areas, problem statements that have been submitted by my peers. This helps me to, again, see what's already been submitted. Um, also gives me a good idea as to how or what my product team is prioritizing. Now let's take a look at how you can make customer handoffs easier on your account teams. The goal here is to create a seamless transition for the customer from pre to post sale between sales and customer success. As a member of the sales team, it's important to me that a good or that a customer has a good experience from start to finish. In order for me to ensure that smooth transition is met, I'm going to share all of the account information that I have in the in channel campus. So I'm going to include all of the contacts that I've been working with. Um, any links and information that are going to be helpful, including the recently closed one opportunity. If they have any product feedback, I can incorporate that here along with any other helpful information. By using account channels, my CSM can get caught up to speed easily and quickly, all by looking at this thorough review of account activity. And if they have any questions, they can, of course, just DM me in a, uh, or in the channel at Mention Me, and we can quickly huddle on the spot. Of course, these are just two use cases to support cross-functional collaboration, but we hope this helps to inspire your teams to explore the possibilities. Thanks for tuning in.